Every man must search his own soul. Like you don't judge a person by where they stand in times of comfort and convenience. You judge them by where they stand in times of challenge and controversy. And if you ain't work, like when you work for something, it gives you a different type of attachment to it. The harder you work, the harder it is to surrender. It's a part of the process. It's evolution. Embrace the process, trust the process. But most importantly, you got to respect the process. If we respect it the way we say we respect it, if we love it the way we say we love it, every single day should be nothing less than excellence. Like everybody is good until they don't feel like it. Then when they don't feel like it, the actions and everything they said goes out of the window. Like I find it amazing. They can say they want something. And then conditions and circumstance change. And the words that they once spoke means nothing to them. Like the commitment level of it. Like I was taught commitment is staying true to what you said you was true to long after the mood that you set it in has left. Meaning on the days when we don't feel like doing what we once said we was going to do, we going to step up and we going to do it anyway because those are the days that build character. The easiest thing in the world to do is to complain. Don't take no effort. The easiest thing in the world to do is to be negative, right? It takes work to have a perspective that see things on the right side of the coin. You got to fight for that. It takes work to show up every single day. And when things are not playing in our favor to say, you know what, man, it's right not playing in my favor right now, but I'm going to still show up and I'm going to give everything I got to it because I value what I'm a part of. It takes work to have the right perspective, right? And I'm a firm believer that perspective drives performance every day of the week. How we view what we do will always affect and impact how we do what we do. I think the great thing about character is no matter how skillful a person is, no matter how talented they may be, no matter where they come from, you can't inherit character. Right? Character is something that has to get up every single day. You got to cultivate and you got to build it through opposition, through challenges, through adversity and through uncertainty. In life, people don't burn out because of what they do. People burn out because life makes them forget why they do it. See, it's all about perspective. It's never about what we go through. It's how we view what we go through. I believe there's some good in every situation that we face. I believe if you train your mind to see the good in the situations that you don't like, that brings you discomfort, that brings you a certain level of opposition, I believe if you train your mind to see the good in it, it's easy to extract it. And I firmly believe with the things we're part of and the things we do, we all have to have a purpose that's a lot greater than ourselves. So when we hit things that we don't understand and that brings us a certain level of discomfort and that hurts us and we just can't pull the grips on it, when we have to encounter things like that, we have to step back and we have to figure out how can I use it? The thing that grinds my gears is when you see people, like people tend to complain and not appreciate things until they almost lose it. Or when you see somebody, they show up in an environment and they count the hours and they don't make the hours count, right? In the midst of adversity, in the midst of challenges, in the midst of successes, in the midst of failures. We got to get up every single day. We got to fight for peace. Most people need guarantees in order to be great. Most people need to be promised something in order to show up and really be elite and operate at the optimal level, right? Most people need to be given something in order to really show up and operate with their level of potential and their capabilities. And so I say to people, when they say things like, I'll get to it next week, I'm like, who promised you that? I'll get to it a month from now, I'm like, man, who promised you that? Right, I'll get to it in a few weeks, I'm like, man, who promised you that? Right, the perspective of, I'll be promised something in a week, a month, or a year from now, and not understanding or approaching things with the perspective and the spirit of giving everything we got to the present while we have the present. My first word of advice is this, say yes. In fact, say yes as often as you can. Saying yes begins things. Saying yes is how things grow. Saying yes leads to new experiences and new experiences will lead to knowledge and wisdom. Yes is for the brave. And an attitude of yes is how you will be able to go forward in these uncertain times. It's never about what happens to us. It's about how we respond to it. That's 100% true. Attitude is one of the most important things that we can possess. I often tell people, when you go through something, be careful how you talk to yourself. Be careful how you speak to yourself. Because how we speak to ourselves, it forms a certain perspective. And the perspective that we have about what we do will dictate our effort, our dedication, and the commitment that we bring into it.